Big Dan and Josh at the Acoustic Centre with a special one today, possibly an overdue one, Joshy, mm. as we go for a deep dive into the orchestra model. Mm -hmm. um, one of the most popular guitar shapes in mm -hmm, history, really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it's been around since 1929. If you can believe that Martin invented the two most popular guitar shapes in music today, the Dreadnought and the Orchestra model, mm. both come from Martin. Yep. It's, I mean, that's an incredible story within yep. itself. But basically every company around does their version of an orchestra model nowadays, and we've got six to play through. Different brands, different timbers, all sorts of things. Want to kick off with this one, Joshy. We talked about the Bourgeois Touchstone series a couple of weeks ago, a, a new collaboration between Bourgeois and Eastman Guitars. We had the Rosewood models the other day. This is our first look at the Mahogany OM. Mm. Um, this is a beautiful guitar. Just listening to it then, it sounded like it got inbuilt reverb. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, that, that's actually something we discuss at the shop all the time. Guitars yeah. that have inbuilt reverb, you know, <laughs> they're cavernous on the inside and they speak and they're, you know, they... they Sustain, you know, is I think what we're talking about there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this thing is amazing. So mahogany, back and sides, mm -hmm. a vintage style neck, uh, and um, just a, a great standard OM. OMs, look, I think they're my favourite shape mm. in an acoustic guitar. Mm. You know, because they're Perfect. just like they just they just sit on your body in a beautiful way. Nice small waist, a loud guitar and um, full single notes mm -hmm. as well. You know, it doesn't speak the same way a Dreadnought speaks, but uh, I've always always loved an OM and I've always recorded with OMs, mm. you know, because I just love the sound of them. So this one here, not too big and woofy in the mm -hmm. bass and nice and clear. Top of this one could almost be mistaken for cedar, the look of it. Yeah. I thought. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> what else can we say? That's a beautiful guitar. That's our first look at the mahogany back and sides touchstone uh, OM from Bourgeois. Joshy, where do we go? Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. We can't go, <laughs> can't go any further without talking about Martin guitars. As we said, they invented the OM in 1929. It actually turned out to be a little bit of a flop at the start. <laughs> That's you know, right. Where it, where it quickly went out of production for a few years in the early 30s. But then, of course, it came back. It came roaring back, and it's now one of the most popular models. Interesting what we were reading earlier, too. Just one of those um, little little fun facts of history that you don't didn't realise. But the guy that first ordered, like, an OM-style guitar, he ordered a 15-fret neck joint. Okay. But they decided on a 14-fret neck joint. So before that, most guitars were... 12-fretters. 12 12-fretters. 12 yeah. So the body came up, you know, as a much longer body. So smaller up about, smaller low about. Mm. And so once you get to the OM, you get a... Bigger, bigger up about and a bigger low about. You just get a louder, fuller That's guitar. That's a beauty. Of course, we could have reached for a an iconic OM28 or an OM21, Martin, but I thought we'd bring something a bit different today, Joshy, because this guitar has recently come in. It's a pre-owned Lawrence Joubert signature OM from yeah. Martin. Now, this is this is only the second one I've ever seen okay. of this particular guitar. Yeah. And the first time I ever played one of these, I just thought, well, this is one of the greatest OMs I've ever played. Right. It's someone who plays OM guitars. Mm -hmm. So he's like, what would I do if I built an OM? Mm -hmm. As any signature artist would do. Mm -hmm. And most notably, a fingerstyle guitar player and played in The Wings. Is it Diddy? <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. As Alan Partridge said, mate, only the band <laughs> the, the band Beatles the could band. have been. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But he played with the Wings for a couple of years, okay. you know, with that that small band with Paul McCartney. Yeah. And um, he's always been a finger style guitar player, and this OM is just a wonderful sounding guitar. Adirondack spruce top, Indian rosewood back and sides, nice cutaway for access, flat, wide, vintage style neck, mm -hmm. and you get that big sort of. It just sounds incredible. Mm. <laughs> it just sounds unreal. Cool to see an OM with a cutaway. You don't see them too yeah. often. That's why I thought we'd showcase this one. I think it's built in 2003. Yes, yeah, and guitar. this is 21 of 133. There you go. That were built. So there's been a few different models. There's been some different timber combinations over the years, but always with an Adirondack spruce top. Mm -hmm. And this is the most traditional version of it, Indian Rosewood 
Adirondack spruce. It just sounds unreal and perfect gig and guitar because of the size and yeah. cutaway for access up Beautifully the Beautifully done. That's the Lawrence Joubert Signature Martin. We had to have a Martin, of course, and it's nice to have something a bit different from them. And while you're reaching for that, grab the other guitar. Lawrence okay. Joubert has also got his own custom set of Martin retro strings which are 13 to 56, but it's what we call a balanced tension set. So in the middle, there's the strings from a 12, so a set of 12s. Yeah. So it's like a hybrid set. And yeah. it's a great guitar string if you like to, as he does, do drop tuning. Yeah. So it's a great set of strings. Interesting uh, tidbit on that uh, story, Joshy. Last time Tommy Emmanuel was in the shop, he was on his way to sound check at Hamer Hall. Hamer Hall? He came in to get some strings and he asked us for recommendations <laughs> on strings. And we had, we got the Tommy Emmanuel signature strings there. <laughs> he ended up getting the Lawrence Joubert. There you go. He said, oh, my friend Lawrence has got some strings. I'll try those at the gig tonight. Well, he there grabbed, you go. That's, three that's... sets of Lawrence Joubert sets off to the gig. So there you go. Hi, the great Tommy Emmanuel. Mm. Tried the Lawrence Joubert set of strings. Very great set cool. of strings. Very cool. Our first of two Australian guitars. Give me that. I present the Carson Crick. More OM Engelman Spruce over old growth Victorian Blackwood built right here in Victoria. We had the Crickmore Wisenborn on here a few yep. weeks ago. Beautiful guitars, beautiful looking guitars. I love the colours he uses. Yeah, very, very beautiful. And what amazes me about uh, his guitars is they're perfect. Yeah, they're, they're absolutely flawless. Yeah. Everything about yeah. them is absolutely stunning. Blackwood back and sides mm -hmm. on this one, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. Engelman, you said. Yes, yep. you said that already. Yep. Yep. But uh, let's have a listen. A fairly dry kind of a tone is this one. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm. <laughs> Stunning instrument. I'd like to take it home myself. Oh, I love the look of his guitar. <laughs> Beautifully done. Australian, made right here in Castlemaine, as it, they say. Yeah, yeah. Um, that is the Carson Crickmore OM, I think it's called an OM. Oh, he's got a term. OM. Uh, OM, he's just called it an OM. Beautiful. Yep. Okay. Yep. Moving on. Yeah. Nice to have a maiden that we can class as an OM There you days. go. That is the new ER90 traditional released by Maiton a few months ago. We've talked about it in here before. <laughs> But good to compare that one with yeah. some of these other more traditional models. I love this guitar. It's an amazing guitar. A uh, little bit deeper. Touch deeper. A touch deeper than a standard OM, but still that great comfy feel, mm. small waist, sits on your body in a beautiful way. Mahogany neck, mm -hmm. which is not always traditional with Matins. They often mm -hmm. use Queensland maple, mm -hmm. which you could sort of class as a mahogany yeah. in some ways. Yeah. Ebony fretboard, ebony bridge, ebony fascia on that one. Uh, now, is this Engelman? Yeah. Or is it Sitka? Good question. Can't Sorry. answer that. We on might the need to be corrected with that. Yeah. Love the sound of this guitar because it's a wonderful uh, guitar that you can plug in with that great pickup they have, but also the sound of a modern acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit more zing mm. and clarity in the mm. top. You know? Zing up the top mm. is just especially for someone who's recording maybe some modern music and needs that. Mm. I love strumming this guitar like that. Yeah. Just like that. I reckon out of all of them, that would be the best strummer. Yeah, it's yeah. a great guitar. So yeah. um, ER. 90 traditional traditional indian so, rosewood back and sides which is an om okay mm, let's keep much. going okay what have we got for you i'm going to take you to a timber we've never seen before a santa cruz custom ordered om in african babinga joshi with old growth sitka on the top look at this timber first guitar we've ever had with that tone wood so that's a stunning guitar i was playing when i was tuning i, I do tune all these guitars mm -hmm. before we play of course mm -hmm. love the clarity and sustain on this guitar and you know sometimes when you read descriptions of timber it doesn't always equate to the tone in the guitar but mm -hmm. this it seems to be exactly as they described it yeah it's halfway between mahogany and rosewood with a little bit of that coca bolo kind of clarity and and push mm -hmm. you know Great sounding guitar. 
Babinga. Beautifully appointed guitar. The binding is Babinga as well. Mm. This head plate is Babinga. Um, it's got the Goto 810 tuners. Yeah. Beautiful, subtle binding. Uh, purfling on the edge of the body. Uh, the eight tens in the brushed, uh, like aluminum, yep. uh, aluminium, yep. as we say here in Australia. Look at that back and sides. Yeah, it really is incredible. And uh, I'm surprised nobody has made this their own, mm. very own guitar yet. Mm. But it will go to a wonderful home. Mm. And it's just a stunning guitar. So I think we've got through all of them. Got, oh, no, we've got one more. I've got one more for Unbelievable. you. Unbelievable. Check this out. One of the great builders of OMs today is Collings, of course. This yes. is an OM2. Uh, old growth Sitka over Indian Rosewood. Sort of blacked out appointments, which I love. Indian Rosewood body binding on that one. The question is, do you like your guitars better than perfect? <laughs> then get yourself a Collings, you know? Yeah, unbelievable. One thing I love about Collings always is their neck profile, Josh. Yeah, this, has this is the, an interesting one. Yeah, VN, Very. It's a VN neck profile, which stands for Vintage Now. Yeah. So it's slightly thicker or deeper at the yep. first fret, and then it doesn't get deep when you go up high, as opposed to their traditional neck, which starts a bit shallower here and yep. then gets thicker. Gotcha. It is actually different. Like yeah. When you pointed out more than the power of suggestion, folks, mm. it does. That is an interesting neck, but very comfy, beautiful, beautiful neck. So this is a pretty amazing guitar. Let's go. Spongy. Yeah. And sustain. Very interesting rosette. Black pick guard, mind you. Probably black the, pick guard. Probably the only one with a black pick guard we've seen. Beveled pick guard. Yeah. May I just add your favourite <laughs> style of pick guard? It's all there, mate. <laughs> so there. Hey, how's that? Unbelievable. So I know that we ooh and ah over guitars in here, mm. folks, but... Um, that's because we're guitar nerds. It's true. <laughs> we love guitars. It's and true. It, it, it really is... Amazing. We we go on and on and on about it, but these were built with human hands, you mm. know, and that's what's astonishing about all these mm. instruments that they're so flawlessly built and sound so good, and it's such a pleasure to play them. Just to listen to that sound and enjoy. There you have it, folks. Six glorious orchestra models uh, that are all in stock at the moment. Great to hear the different timbers. Mm. Great to see the different looks. Uh, there's no wrong answer in any of these, is there? That's right. Come on in and play them. There's plenty more where that came from. Josh, you take us out with a few calls. Beautiful.